Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Are you worried about staying ahead of panic buyers? Are you concerned that you maybe don't have the meat that you want or that you can't find it in the store? Well, sometimes if you can't find the foods that you want, you want to think of grocery shopping as a scavenger hunt is what I always do. I look for substitutes, things that could help fill in those gaps. Yes, maybe you can still find the meats that you want that are fresh. You can take them home, put them in your freezer, maybe can them yourselves. Perhaps you're finding that meat is too expensive and it's not a wonderful option for you anymore. Plus, if your freezer is full or you don't have one, or you have canned up every jar you have, or you don't do canning, then maybe you have stocked up on all of the canned meats that are available. So what do you do next? If the meat is gone or you can't afford to buy it anymore, you can still stay ahead of panic buyers by looking for ideas of things that include meat that maybe are in a different area of the store that you didn't think about before. Think about lunch type foods and you can find individual packets of different kinds of meat. I like to buy the salmon, I like to buy tuna, I like some of the flavored tunas such as the lemon pepper, but some of them are not to my liking. I've tried them, I don't like them, and so I don't want to stockpile them anymore. Individual packets of meat are great because you can have a small serving or you can put it in, say, your bug out bag or your 72 hour kit. You can have individual servings so it can help you plan how much food do I actually have for what I need in an emergency situation. If you're one person and you want to have a serving of meat every day, you could buy seven of these. You have seven days worth of meat and they come in different varieties. So it's giving you options that you're not eating the exact same thing every single day. Look for the packets of say tuna salad, chicken salad that includes the little crackers and it even has a little spoon in it. Open the little can, open the crackers and you can spread it. I really like the Brunswick chicken. I'm not a big a fan of tuna. I like chicken and so I prefer to stockpile more chicken than tuna. So it's all about what you enjoy eating. Stock up on those foods. I think you can find these in ham, tuna, chicken. Look around, maybe you can find other varieties of these little spreadable meats. And what's surprising is even with crackers in them, they have about a year's shelf life. The crackers would be what would become stale and then the can is a pull off the top like you find inside say Pringles potato chips. It's not a solid can that might last longer, but these are really good. These are handy to have, they make a full serving. There's actually quite a bit of food that's filling in these. Plan to rotate them close to the date simply because the packaging is not going to be the longest lasting. They're a mixture of ingredients. Plus you don't want your food to spoil before you have a chance to use it. So buy as many as you think you can use and then if you eat one, then you replace it. If you want to build your stockpile when you use one, buy two and then you have more and that's how you build up your pepper pantry. Another option, look for sausages and pepperoni, salami, you can find those in shelf stable packages. They're quite good, they're reasonably inexpensive and you can have them last quite a while. Plus if you want them to last longer, try storing them in the refrigerator or the freezer. Look for varieties of jerky. You can find turkey jerky, beef jerky, pork jerky. You can find it in all different types of flavors and seasonings so that you have a huge variety. You could eat these on the go right out of the package or you could uh, drop them into something that you're cooking and they would rehydrate and be more like fresh meat. You could add them into a rice dish, ramen dish, into pastas, macaroni and cheese. There's all kinds of things you might be cooking. You could drop these in while those foods are cooking and this would rehydrate and be a little more soft and more like a serving of meat. Look for bacon bits. You can find artificial ones in a little shaker jar, give you a little meat flavor, or you can find real bacon bits which add real meat into a dish that you're preparing. Look for bouillon. You can find it in cubes, you can find it in little powdered packages, you can find it in jars. Find a brand that you enjoy eating and find it in a format that is the size and serving that you would want. 
You need to read on the ingredients. Some of these include a lot of crazy ingredients like monosodium glutamate. So if you don't want to eat monosodium glutamate, make sure that you're reading so that you're not getting more than what you want. There are all many different brands and concoctions, so likely you can find one that would be nice to have in your pantry. Then these take up way less space than having cans or boxes of broth. Look for something like the Loma Linda products. They're plant-based, but they're quite good. They're very nutritious, and they're designed to be meat replacements. You can find taco filling, you can find fishless tuna, and even packets of sloppy joe. Loma Linda also has some just full meal type grab and go uh, foods that are quite good and they are really top quality. Loma Linda is part of the Seventh Day Adventist Church and they are vegetarians. Loma Linda has producing top quality vegetarian type dishes since 1890. Don't panic yet, you can still find canned foods that include meat as part of their recipe. You can get chicken a la king, chicken and dumplings. How about sausage gravy? You can find them in cans. You can find different manufacturers. You can also find a nice sausage gravy by Pioneer Gravy that I think is quite tasty. It's in a powdered form and so it takes up way less space in your prepper pantry, but then you need to actually be able to add water and prepare it. So sometimes having something you can just open it that's already prepared in a can can be a benefit. Look for different kinds of stews. You can find beef stew. You can even find pozole, which is a pork stew that's uh, commonly found in Mexico. So look for that on a Hispanic aisle if you can't find it on the regular canned food of easy, ready-to-go meals. Look for different recipes of chili. You can find chicken chili. You can find beef chili. There are different varieties. You can find different manufacturers. They're going to have different flavors. You can also find chili with no beans, which tends to have more meat in it. And then you can add a can of beans and make it your own kind of a recipe. Chili with no beans is also a nice sauce. Maybe you want to serve it over some of your pasta. Look for tamales. They come also chicken or beef. When you open a can of tamales, they're wrapped in paper. So pour out the sauce, unwrap the tamales before you prepare them in your dish. Look for some of the pasta meals, like by Chef Boyardee. You can get beef aroni spaghetti and meatballs. How about ravioli? They come even mini, extra overstuffed. You can find them with sausage, beef, and uh, they're all a little bit different. One of the items that I found was the lasagna. It doesn't have any meat in it anymore and it is not very tasty. So if you were looking at trying the canned lasagna, I would steer away from that one. Still looking for meat flavor? How about some gravy? You can find beef gravy, chicken gravy, turkey gravy, or even cream of chicken soup. Then this gives you the flavors of meat. You can serve it with your other foods, with your noodles, mashed potatoes, with rice. And if you have a little can of meat, this can stretch it farther and give you a bigger, fuller meal that spreads out that meat flavor throughout your meal. Check out the soup aisle. Find ones that include meat. I think it's getting harder to find soups that include meat. Everything seems to be minestrone or tomato with something else in it or just vegetable or vegetable with noodles. They don't seem to have the options with meat. They're much harder to find since the pandemic but you still can find them something besides just chicken noodle soup. Look for chicken cheese enchilada flavor or pub style chicken pot pie. I've also found a sausage gumbo which is pretty good. If you see something you think you might like it, buy one and take it home and try it. And if you don't like it, don't buy any more. Stock up on foods that you enjoy eating rather than just foods that were on sale or nobody wants to eat. You can also find beef kinds of soup, sirloin steak, sirloin beef. I think they even have some like beef stew types of soups. Uh, you can find beef with vegetables and barley. 
and you can buy the little cans or the big cans. I was surprised that these little teeny cans are now $1.79. The chunky soups are nice. You can serve them over rice, mashed potatoes, noodles, biscuits, serve them with some toast, and you can make a big meal out of some of the chunky soup. The little cans of soup tend to be more a bowl of brothy soup. The prices are really going up as the varieties are going down and we're having a harder time finding the selection of foods that we want at prices that we can afford. When you go to the store and you're looking for meat, don't panic if you can't find the meats that you want. Look all around, think creatively, find some foods that include the meat flavor that you want and then find the ones that you enjoy eating and stock up on those for your prepper pantry. Get there ahead of the panic buyers, that's for sure. We don't know what's coming, but it's going to be a bumpy ride ahead, I'm afraid. If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.